It's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. The now infamous Tiger King Joe Exotic is two years into his 22 year sentence, but he has a resentencing hearing coming up that could shorten his time in prison. Whether Joe gets 22 years or 18 years or time served, you know, it really for this is a legal issue. Attorney John Phillips says within days of the hearing, he plans to file a motion for a new trial. I'm ready to get into the meat of the coconut. I'm ready to do cross-examination. Phillips wants to show new evidence he says has been uncovered, including recanted testimony. He recently asked the court to unseal affidavits like those of Alan Glover. Glover at first claimed that he was supposed to be the hitman, but has now admitted on camera to Joe's attorney that he lied on the stand. And Jeff Lowe, who worked with the feds to put Joe behind bars, signed an affidavit that says, Alan Glover did not tell him he left the park to go take out Baskin. The conversation regarding the murder for hire of Carol Baskin includes text messages that were staged. He says he knew he was being recorded and his statements regarding Alan Glover being paid $3,000 to go to Tampa to kill Carol Baskin were not true. Alan Glover never went to Florida. While Joe Exotic waits for his day in court, he's being treated for prostate cancer. Joe moved in November from Fort Worth to a prison in North Carolina because it has better oncology treatment. His lawyer shared Joe's biopsy report. He has two spots of prostate cancer. His Gleason score is borderline where you can't just wait. It's significant, but on the same token, it's not quite surgical. Joe spoke about his time in prison on a recorded call with his lawyer on Christmas Eve. I have been locked up in solitary confinement for over 200 days now. I ne never hurt anyone. I made it my whole life without a speeding ticket. And the world knows now, thanks to Alan Glover, that I'm in here over perjury and fabricated evidence by the Department of Justice. Joe's not suicidal by any stretch of the imagination. Joe's not ultimately fragile that we have to worry, is, you know, is Joe going to make it? Joe's going to make it. But... This is changing Joe, Joe Maldonado every single day that he's in isolation. Phillips wants the Department of Justice to take a hard look at the new evidence. We're not guessing. We're not, we're not making this up. Um, once the public sees these affidavits, you'll see who the court was dealing with. The appellate court ruled that Joe should get new sentencing. The hearing is set for Friday morning, January 28th.